I want to do some cosmetic work to the Ming Dynasty Scar MK17 here from ZendoToys.com. I may also do a spring upgrade, but I haven't opened it up all the way as of yet. So instead, I just want to kind of showcase what I did here. So you can see I put this front handguard extension on there. I found a piece that um, would work with this model SCAR that definitely wouldn't work with like the uh, less expensive SCARs that have the Gen 8 gearboxes. So I thought, well, let me go ahead and try to make this work for this nice SCAR. And I was able to do that. However, it did take a lot of manipulation. I actually found a kit on Cults 3D, which is a free 3D file site that actually had like a full SCAR model that you could glue together, print out every single piece and glue it together, I guess, to use for cosplay or display purposes. And that's where I got that handguard from. And it was somewhat similar size specs. I was able to widen it just slightly so at least I could get the width correct. But then I did have to really uh, change things up. I had to print these bigger pieces that go up here so that I could utilize the screw holes that were already in there. Because my goal with this one, too, was to be able to put this piece on without, you know, touching or putting any holes or glue or anything on the actual original. So I was able to utilize all the screw holes that were already there. I just had to change some things up again. So like these two actually go into basically heat inserts that are built into um, the original blaster. There's one behind the pressure switch as well that holds the pressure switch on and then also the pressure switch goes over it. There's a screw down here I had to line up and then there's one up here I had to line up as well. And then obviously on the reserve, reverse side. So I did have to do quite a bit of uh, fabrication after the fact and printing new pieces and combining the pieces. Now, if I ever did do it again, I could build that handguard out, you know, on my computer and print it as a single piece. So got a nice little grip down here, right? And then went with the um, bipod on there because it is such a long blaster. And then I also went with like a very long kind of fake suppressor because of that as well. So you can see here, grip, like that's what I'm talking about where a screw went in. One of these screws goes directly into the frame as well. And then you can see on this side, the difference, okay? But I thought it would be cool to use the PEQ box here as well. That's from Action Union, that's on Amazon. The Heart Gun Optic, that's on Amazon too. And then this is actually Magpul. Otherwise, it was all pieces that I basically combined uh, to create this SCAR HMK17. And of course, the blaster itself is from ZendoToys.com. So let me know what you guys think about it. I really like how it turned out. It's kind of just a cool, longer, you know, almost sniper version SCAR. And then, like I said, this all just unscrews, slides off, and you can replace the bottom piece uh, that came with it. So there's no, no damage done to the blaster original blaster frame at all all right comments or questions post them below let me know what you think of course like subscribe share my channel with your friends and participate in those monthly giveaways and if i do end up doing some uh performance improvement to this really what i would likely just do is a spring upgrade because it already has metal gears um then i will definitely show you how i do that my goal or i'm, I'm hoping if i just remove the stock piece i'll be able to access that spring because sometimes you get lucky like that with some of these blasters where they make it very easy to replace the spring and then we could definitely get this uh fps bumped up on this one all right make sure you guys participate in those monthly giveaways over 200 dollars in custom blasters and accessories every month and i think this will be posting during the big end of the year giveaway where there's a giant grand prize and a couple other prizes so make sure you guys are uh, participating in that too thanks